Now, in this session, we're going to understand how to quickly uh, create a landing page in Builder All, a quick landing page, right? Correct. So uh, let's uh, click this uh, landing page and open this layout that we've created. For okay now we have uh, this landing page right correct now let me show you something uh this is where you can switch between the pages you create right so uh, so as you created these disclaimer and privacy policy in these pages so you can switch between them right correct and you you linked them accordingly right correct so you created the home page for this particular page now you, your first question was how to create a thank you page right Correct. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so this is the whole funnel here. So, in order to create a thank you page, you will simply go click this button here. Okay, you see this page button, right? Yes, sir. We'll click this here, and then you will simply click here, and then you will click see click this button. You see add page option here. Yes, sir. Right. So you click this button, add page. Correct. Yes, Let's alphabetical automatic. Let's remove this checkbox. So you click add page, correct? And then from here, you can add any kind of pages that you want, right? So basically, uh, how our thank you page will look like, right? Correct. So we can check on, let's uh, scroll down and see. These are, this is like all the examples, two steps, steps pop up. You can add any kind of page, right? Correct. So affiliates, again, blank page, uh, home page, uh, membership, miscellaneous, okay. So let's click here, miscellaneous, opt-in page. Okay. We don't want an opt-in page in this case, sales. So uh, you just need to confirm your registration. Now. So this could be one of your thank you pages, right? Correct. Uh, so we can edit this right correct uh, let's see what what other options we have unlock your free training thank you for sharing right this could become your thank you page right correct uh, you can uh, and then in this example let's choose this one uh, in fact uh, okay let's let's choose this option okay you just need to confirm your registration right correct and uh, i'll give this a name page name as thank you in fact let's confirmation of this thank you thank you confirmation email page okay this would be a like thank you page email page click confirm Now you see uh, this page has been created. You just need to confirm your registration because of, uh, we need to let the person know that he's going to get an email from us, right? Correct? Yes. So pretty much like a, a very good idea, okay? You just need to confirm your registration. Step one, go to your email. Step two, open the email and click on the link. Uh, step three, uh, uh, sign up. So, so step one, go to your email, uh, open the, and you can type in here, uh, open the email. Go to your email. Go to your in. Email inbox or spam. Go to your email inbox or check your spam or check your spam folder right okay. or check your spam remove the your thing or check spam go to your email inbox or check spam okay or let's remove go to your inbox or check spam open the email and click the link click on the link and uh, Step three, 
uh, click on the link and then register, right? You just need to confirm your registration, okay? Uh, by confirming your registrations, right? So this is this would be your thank you page. Now let's click save, right? So confirmation email page, home page, right? This has been saved, right? Now you can pretty much um, um, switch between the pages from this particular drop down, right? Correct. So what you can do is you can pretty much go here, right? Correct. Go to this particular page, click here, and bring this confirmation email page just above this, right? So you can drag and drop this whole thing, right? So let's bring this disclaimer down, correct? So home and confirmation email page, right? Correct. So let's go here and click save. Okay, sorry. Oh, click save. Let's save this. Now let's see if we have the mailing. Let's go now. Let's check out how to connect this with your uh, autoresponder thing. So let's click right click this. Let's click configure. Here you can add the data form to a page in specific uh, sending method. Uh, configure email received options such such as message. So now what you're going to do is in order to configure your email, you click this uh, email opt-in form, you'll click, um, uh, right click on it, right, and you'll click configure, okay? As soon as you click configure, you'll see mailing boss option here, okay? Now you'll click mailing boss, correct? And uh, you see, uh, like this is, this is a list that I created in your autoresponder, in your mailing boss for, for testing purpose. So list one, let's select this for now, correct list one auto insurance list. And this is how you select your list, right? So basically you see the, the opt-in form went off, right? Correct, because the list has not been optimized from the mailing boss, correct? So you need to add proper fields in, in uh, the mailing boss, right? Correct, uh, but this is how you actually uh, pretty much configure. Go here, let's select email marketing. Okay, so in the email marketing list, only the email thing is set up as, as a form, right? So you see get instant access and there's the email. Uh, and uh, so basically, uh, this is how you set up your list. Now, your mailing boss and your uh, landing page has been configured, right? Correct, and uh, uh, change URL, correct? So once the person subscribes, okay, he would be uh, taken to your thank you page, right? Correct. So what you need to do is, uh, let's say after the person puts a, puts his email in, where will he go, right? Correct. So you need to select that from here. Right click on this, click change URL, and come here. No action. Select web address, right? And then you you can select uh, uh, the address that you want to put here, right? So uh, you need to click page. So because we created a page, right? So I'll, I selected the page and then I will select confirmation email page. In the point, okay. as soon as the person opts in, he will be taken to the confirmation email page. Make sense? Okay. So okay. confirmation email page, uh, you click it open in the same tab, not in a new tab, right? Uh, the advanced options, correct? So uh, let's uh, leave the advanced options. You can add some click analytics, correct? Later on when you learn on the tracking thing, you can add a click analytics or HTML embed put your own HTML into your page. So let's say if you also want to track uh, the button clicks, so you can put click analytics here. Okay, that's something advanced. So let's remove this and now and let's click okay, right? So pending subscribe, confirmation email page, then again, you add everything, subscription confirmed. So as soon as the subscription is confirmed, uh, you select the same option for everything, confirmation email page. Okay. And subscribe confirmation. Let the person go to same page for now. Confirmation email page, right? Correct. So you can create a new page for unsubscription kind of thing, right? So let's say if someone unsubscribes, he would go to that unconfirmation email page, and you can even monetize your 
unsubscribe page, right? Correct. Okay. So you remember when we unsubscribe something, we are taken to a certain page by the computer, right? Correct. And they are selling us more offers there. So so you can create that page and select it from here, right? Correct. Maybe, but that's something advanced. Select okay. Click confirm, right? Uh, okay. Let's click save. Uh, save okay now let's quickly go and test this page right correct so uh what i'll do is i'll click preview and now we're on in the preview rather than clicking preview let's test this page uh from the direct landing page okay so this is the page right we've already saved it right i'll click on it here So now I'll I'll type an email here. So let's say I'll type one of this email. Okay, get instant access. So you see, take it has been taken to the confirmation page. Sounds good. Looks good now. Yes. Nothing difficult. You just need to confirm. You see how amazing, right? Correct. Yes, it's coming up like like in a responsive way, super responsive, right? You just need to confirm your registration. Step one, step two, step three, right? Correct. And and that's pretty much it, right? So we finally uh, successfully. Uh, where, we can, mm -hmm. where we can insert our uh, affiliate links? Huh? So basically, uh, this was an example on how to create a thank you page, right? Correct. Yes. So basically, uh, you can edit this thank you page and put banners here, right? Correct. Uh, or if the if you are using email marketing, so you're collecting leads, right? And as soon as the person hits his email, your affiliate link will be inserted in your autoresponder email sequence. Okay. Get the point? So click. Uh, so you need to set up the email sequence. So we will have a complete different session on how to craft an email sequence, right? Correct. So basically, as soon as the person opts in, correct, he will see this message and then he will get go into his inbox and then he will click the link email in your inbox and then he will be taken to your CPA offer that way. Correct. Again, you can add banners of uh, banners of your CPA offer in this thank you page as well. Right. But that is something advanced and I will tell you how to split as those things. Right. Correct. But you pretty much get the point. Right. So this is how we create the thank you page and the landing page successfully.